Hello beautiful, welcome back to another video by the one and the only Tisa Tierra. So as you can tell by the title today, we are going to be doing the Never Have I Ever Challenge Tag Game. I don't know, whatever it is that you want to call it. So I asked you guys here on YouTube and on my Instagram to give me some questions for Never Have I Ever. And you guys did not come through the first time. <laughs> Y'all was asking like questions that I was just like, Mm -hmm. Come on. But nevertheless, I got a lot of questions. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Eventually, the questions did end up getting up to my standards, honey, because I was like, make it juicy. Like, y'all was asking, never have I ever drunk green tea before. Like, I mean, not necessarily that, but like, that's how I was looking at them. Like, if y'all don't come on with these vanilla ass questions, but anyway, let's just go ahead and jump on in here. Okay, so someone said, never have I ever went on a blind date. No, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I went on a blind date. Let me tell y'all how this, girl, this should be a story time. <laughs> that should definitely be a story time, but I went on a blind date. So it was me and my homegirl, Jalea. And she was dealing with one of my homeboys from like back in the day day. And so I trusted his, I don't know why. I don't even have a legitimate reason on why I really trusted this guy to pair me up with one of his homies for the night. Other than the fact that he was my homie for, you know, years prior. And so I ain't gonna flex to y'all. I was a little intrigued about dude because he had like that <laughs> he had like that roughness about him he had just got out of prison he had been in prison for a long time for a uh, murder and i don't know like something about that i was just like and this is when this is when i was younger like i wouldn't be dating no dude who just got out of jail for murder today like i'm you know i'm past that point but i was intrigued like i was like oh so you a killer, like for real, <laughs> like dead ass. And I don't know, something about that was just intriguing to me at that point in my life or whatever. Your girl is a little suburban hood girl, okay? In case you guys haven't put piece that together, I'm like a little suburban hood girl. So yeah, I dated him and it uh, for the night because I was very much so aggravated with him by the end of the night because first of all he was supposed to pay me for not going to work because we was dancing at the club or whatever and he was supposed to pay me for not going to work he put on this big facade like he had all this money and stuff like that which I realized was not true because my homeboy was paying for everything my homeboy paid for us to get in a club my homeboy paid for our section my homeboy paid for our bottles he paid for everything and I was just like yeah no so by the time we got back to my homegirl house, I was ready to go. He was like, you want me to walk you to your car? I was like, that's really not necessary. Like, it, it was a whole lot of crap that went on that night. But needless to say, yes, I've been on a blind date before, but never ever will I again. Someone says, never have I ever had a one night stand. Girl, yes I have, honey. I ain't even finna go into details about it. Dang, that should be a story time too. Girl, I got a million and five freaking story times to tell y'all. Like, who child, but I digress. Never have I ever peed on myself. Yes, I have, okay? And this was like last year. <laughs> you know how you gotta go to the bathroom so bad. Like I had to go to the bathroom so bad. And for some reason, once you get to your front door and try to put the key in, that's when it really be like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Needless to say, I kind of peed on myself a little bit, you know, but I was home, so I was just like, well, I guess I just <laughs> take a shower and, oh, that's embarrassing. Not really. I don't get embarrassed because I can laugh at myself. Like, I laugh at myself all the time, but... So the average person that would probably be embarrassing to me girl i laughed and i called my home girl and laughed about it with my home girl okay so never have i ever dined and ditched at a restaurant no i have not 
have, but I know people who have. I was present in the moment when they did it, but I was not a part of the plan. <laughs> I was not a part of the plan and y'all it was so crazy because I was like y'all seen that TikTok when the girl be like you robbing what this store <laughs> like that's how I was like y'all dying and ditching this restaurant <laughs> like it was girl it was crazy it was crazy so needless to say no I have not but I was around you always come in when I'm doing my videos and then you try to sit down pop you not no baby I'm trying to do a video issue Cobra like he's legit trying to sit on me now Kobe you not no baby so someone says never have I ever fall off the, fell off the pole while on stage no ma'am I have never fallen off the pole never fallen off the pole uh, never have I ever fought over a lady I don't even like women. I am so far, like, absolutely not interested in women at all. Like, uh, uh Never have I ever fought over a dude. I've been known to act up over my baby daddy in the past. Never have I ever peed in the shower. I have. I think everybody have. I feel like if somebody say I've never peed in the shower, they are lying. Like, you're a liar. I don't believe it. Someone says, never have I ever faked an orgasm. When I was younger, but like, now that I'm older, I give two flying flip ifs if I hurt a man's feeling by telling him that he did not accomplish the goal. Because at the end of the day, I feel like I am doing women a disservice. <laughs> Excuse my dog, that he wants to get out of the room, so let me let him out. But yeah, I feel like I'll be doing all women a disservice. As women in general, we do ourselves and the other women that are going to come behind us a disservice by lying to these men. We need to let them know, like, X did not mark the spot, sir. Like, get on your grown man. Because if we just right here just lying to them, telling them, yeah, you did that. You was good. You big. You hung. Then they go around thinking that that's true. Stop lying to them. Never have I ever said the wrong name in bed. Never. Slick it in the can of oil, boy. Never have I ever sent a dirty text to the wrong person. Yes, I have. And that wrong person was my mom. <gasps> <laughs> it was kinky but it wasn't too explicit and I was able to finesse it because I was in high school I was in 12th grade and I remember I was watching Family Guy and I was texting my baby daddy who wasn't my baby daddy at the time he was just my little high school sweetheart my little boothay my boyfriend or whatever so I was texting him and I made a mistake and sent it to my mama and she was like what did she say? Bring me your phone now. I don't know. Some kind of mom response. And I went in her room and I was like, no, mom, I was like, my bad. I ain't mean to send this to you. Uh, I was sending it to Corey because we both watching Family Guy. And we was laughing at stuff that Stewie and um the dog and Brian was saying or whatever. And so, she, like, it slid because it sounded like something that could have been on Family Guy. So she was like, oh, okay. But girl, I had to be quick on my feet. I had to be quick on my feet with that one. <laughs> Never have I ever peed in a swimming pool. I feel like everybody has peed in the swimming pool. Like, even if you were a kid and you peed in the swimming pool, like, how many of y'all really get out of the pool to go to the bathroom? Seriously. So, another question. Never have I ever had sex with a complete stranger in a different state? No. Freaking way. No. That's not me. That's not me. I'm not, I, like, if if people down with that you know like i don't care like do what you do what goes on wherever stays in wherever like live your life to the fullest but no i have not nor do i have any intentions on doing so men get on my nerves so to find somebody who i'm just like oh let me get you the cookies right now like no and then i'm gonna be honest at the at a place that i'm in in my life like i'm not screwing you just because i had a good time with you i'm not how much money have you spent i'm 
hurt. I don't care what nobody say. People be wanting to say gold diggers, money chasers, whatever. How much money have you spent on me? While I'm talking about, I, I'm going to screw you just because I like you. Baby, I got to do more than like you to give you my cookies. Just liking you ain't enough. I like fucking dog. I like puppies. I like cats. So, I like food. I need to do more than like you to give you some cookies. Like, you gotta confiscate a little bit more than a like. So, never have I ever got cheated on. Girl, I feel like we have all been there, done that, got awards for, for it, honey. Like, no matter, no matter how pretty you are, no matter how much money you make, no much matter how good your stuff is, it come with the territory of dating. So never have I ever snuck someone in my mom's house. Sorry, mom. Yes, I have. That's why I'm glad we have cameras now that I have kids, because what? And you better not unplug nothing in my house. Don't unplug a single camera or I'm on you. Never have, never have I ever had a threesome. I have. And I thought about doing a story time on that, y'all. I ain't even gonna care. But I was like, I don't want YouTube to flag it. But yes, I have. Yeah, I have. I might get y'all that story time on live. I don't know. That's, that's. <laughs> I'll, I'm next. <laughs> Never have I ever had sex in front of somebody. <laughs> Bro, y'all in my business. Mom, I have. But it was, oh, it was me and my homegirl. I'm not going to say her name. It was me and my homegirl and it was me and my boo and it was her and his friend like and it just happened like <laughs> okay so, <laughs> story time mini story time all right so i dated this dude named kelly this was before we was y'all i was younger like ugh, God, why was i so promiscuous we was younger and I was used to kick it with this guy named Kelly. I can't even remember his friend name that my homegirl was dealing with or whatever. But we was all in this room. We had been, it was a lot going on. It was a lot going on, but not a lot at the same time. Clearly we were bored. And one thing led to another, like, and then it's so crazy because he ended up being my boyfriend. Like, <laughs> Not like that same day, but like eventually, like we was like, I like how you vibe. And I was like, I like how you vibe. And we was just like, screw everything that that happened <laughs> prior to now. Like, we should be together. <laughs> And he ended up he ended up being my boyfriend. He was my boyfriend for a little bit too. But then I left him because he was he was giving too broke for me. And I was not okay with it. Never have I ever gave somebody head while driving. Are we in high school? I'm grown. I'm grown grown. Like grown. I almost died once. Well not for real. Like I felt like I was gonna die. So it was one of those things where <laughs> I hope nobody I care about is watching this. I mean, not not care about, but you give it up to end. So dude was driving. I ain't gonna say no name. <laughs> he was driving, and he hit a corner, and I felt like I was gonna die because I just went like, <laughs> y'all. Oh my god! I felt like the whole car was about to flip over. But that's how it feel though when you can't see, like you can't see, you ain't got no seat but all. You just you just bracing for the impact. Oh, good time. Never had I, never have I ever had a crush on one of my man's friends. Like never. Never ever. Like no thanks I'll pass. Never have I ever got my toes sucked on. Girl, yes. For, and I don't like it. I do not like it. But it's like 
a lot of the men, some men that I have dated, they be having feet fetishes. Like, oh, oh my God, you got some pretty feet, pretty feet, pretty feet. Let me do this to your feet. Da, 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 da. I don't like my feet sucked on. I don't like, you can massage my feet, but don't put my feet in your mouth. I don't, leave my feet alone. You can look at them, but no, don't put my feet in your mouth. Never have I ever went back to an ex. Girl, I went back to my baby daddy a million and five times, like, ugh, overrated. Never have I ever had a sneaky link. No, I'm usually pretty open with who I'm dealing with. Like, it is, don't be nothing sneaky about it. There <laughs> really don't be nothing sneaky about the people that I do. Never have I ever stalked an ex on social media. No. For what? I don't have time. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. I done hacked some pages before. I done hacked, well, you know it, I guess. What, well, would you consider it stalking if like I'm breaking into your page to see? Oh, see, but you wasn't really an ex, you was my dude, so that's different. No, I never stalked an ex, nope. Anyway, girl. Thank you for checking out this video. I know it's kind of short, but I wanted it to be short and straight to the point. But anyway, that's that's on y'all because I asked y'all what y'all wanted to know. And these are things that y'all told me y'all wanted to know. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, because you didn't have to click this video. You could have clicked the one before. You could have clicked the one after. But instead, you decided to come kick with me. And it's greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. And I love you all so much. Mwah. Love y'all. Bye.